So for appetizers, we got the shrimp katsu sushi roll and the spinnacopa to dip. So I got the lamb burger with parmesan fries. Okay, and I got the chicken and shrimp pad thai. This looks absolutely incredible. You can see the shrimp and everything in there. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, hey guys. So in classic fashion, we totally forgot to record an outro at Mythos. Um, so this is kind of like a lost lost footage video. Um, <laughs> but we wanted to get it out to you because it was a great restaurant. Oh we gosh, really yes. enjoyed it. Um, what did you think of your uh, the spinacopa to do? So I was a little bit nervous. I'm Yeah, you can see his face. I'm obviously the picky eater between the two of us. So I was a little bit nervous about the spinach and everything in it. But I loved it. Yeah. So if you've got a piggy eater in the group, there's enough cheese in there that you're never even gonna notice. And I, I loved all the olives that came with it. It was really good. Brie doesn't eat olives, so I got to enjoy all those. The the shrimp katsu sushi roll. Yeah. Um, I thought it was good. It's a little little unmemorable, is Pretty what I would normal say. Normal shrimp. I mean, it's not anything <clears throat> super fancy. I thought it was really well made, um, and the flavor was really good. But it's not gonna be one of those things that like. Is the best sushi roll you've ever had. Yeah, life. so if you like it, get it. If not, yeah, you don't have. It's not a not a must get. No. Um, my burger, on the other hand, the lamb burger, I heard all the reviews. I had really high hope for it. It met all the high hopes. A plus. Definitely recommend the lamb burger. Yeah. Um, it was really really good. Had a lot of those Greek flavors in it. Definitely something I would go back for. And what about your? You see, you had pad thai. I thing? had the pad thai, which had chicken, shrimp. So it had a couple different meats in it. Um, if the number of pad thais I saw coming out of the kitchen was any indicator, everybody and their brother was ordering this meal. I thought it was fantastic. Had a ton of flavor, a lot of vegetables in it. The pasta was cooked really well. The meat was delicious. So I think Mythos being best theme park restaurant, uh, I don't know, but it was pretty dang good. We it's, would definitely go back. It's definitely up there. There's some yeah. that we've eaten at like, uh. Oh, always the one in Animal Kingdom. Um, oh, Yak and Yeti. Yak and Yeti, I like. Yeah. I, I like probably even a little bit better. But so this good. was right up there. Um, we loved the food at um, uh, in Harry Potter uh, at the Leaky Cauldron, or did we three broomsticks? Three broomsticks where we ate. We yeah. love that too. Uh, but overall, highly recommend. Definitely, so if you're in in uh, Islands of Adventure and you need a sit down restaurant, this is highly recommended. Make sure you get your reservations, though, because they go quick yes. and it was packed. Make a reservation, because when we got there, we had a reservation, but several people were in line trying to just get on the walk-up list. Every single one of them was turned away. So I would say at least 30 days out, go ahead and make your reservation, if not sooner, if it'll let you. Um, but definitely recommend it. If you've been to Mythos, let us know what you got in the comments. Um, and if you like videos like this, go ahead and like and subscribe and let us know, and we'll be happy to make more of these videos. All right, and we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye.